And we did item F already. We're going to do item G, which is our last item. Receive oral report on the city's participation in the planning process for redevelopment of aesthetic features for the Caltrain grade separation. In the last, uh, I will try to be as short as possible. I know that you had a very long night. In the last 10 years, JPB and uh, the city uh, worked collabor uh, collaboratively uh, on the development of the great separation uh, project. Uh, the, des uh, the design concept incorporated a decorative gateway in, our, uh, uh, in the city on the east side of the structure. In 2010, when the design uh, was finalized and uh, JPB needed to go out for construction, uh, the city agreed uh, to let JPB to go out uh, for uh, construction uh, to prevent for them to lose the grant money for the construction of the project, even if uh, this gateway wasn't incorporated in the design uh, uh, at that time. The reason why the design wasn't incorporated uh, in, uh, uh, the gateway wasn't incorporated in the design was that uh, the 2010 alternative design was for four tracks and uh, the gateway was incorporated in uh, the design for two, uh, two tracks. To solve the problem, uh, the city agreed to enter in a, in a memorandum of understanding uh, with uh, JPB, in agreeing, agreeing with them to work uh, collaboratively uh, on the development of a decorative gateway to uh, uh, develop solution and alternative and to incorporate in the project. Uh, you agreed uh, in uh, last year in August for a, a financial uh, cost share in, with JPB for this project. Uh, following uh, that uh, financial agreement, uh, JPB and the city went through a uh, selection process of the consultant and a very highly qualified uh, team was uh, selected jointly. Uh, to develop this uh, decorative uh, gateway uh, as an uh, uh, enhancement uh, for the entrance in our community, uh, community on the east side of uh, uh, the station. And uh, uh, now is a public, uh, the next phase is a public uh, in, uh, engagement uh, process. The consultant uh, is tasked to develop six uh, alternative, two for two tracks, and three, uh, three for two, tra two tracks, and three alternative for four tracks. And then uh, those recommendations will come back for your final decision uh, sometime in May. Next two months, uh, the consultant team uh, will have two uh, meetings with, uh, com uh, with the community representative uh, seeking their input in the process, one meeting in March and one meeting uh, in April. I have here uh, Rafael Bolon, the project manager for the project. If you have any question, uh, both of us can answer. Any questions of staff or Rafael? Right. Through the chair. Irene. I'm a little confused. <laughs> who, who are the consultants meeting with, the community or So the um, consultants are wishing to seek input from the community and have conducted one meeting with JPB staff and with city staff. Uh, it may have actually been more than one meeting. Um, we also invited our subcommittee, which consists of uh, the mayor and the vice mayor, who have uh, previously chaired the citizen advisory committee and have worked uh, extensively on the grade separation project for a number of years. Uh, it was their interest that we identify some citizens who might participate in this very limited term assignment to assist them in providing public community input to this design process. Okay, so, so, so there's 
people that have been asked? To there have not been any no. people asked. Okay. What staff is, um, let, me, let me just be a little bit more clear. Staff is recommending that um, mm -hmm. from the individuals who have previously participated in the Citizens Advisory Committee that ran from approximately 2002 until 2006, I think, 2005, a number of years, um, when the grade separation was being planned, um, there were 15 or 20 folks who stuck with that process for a number of years. And uh, we also recommend that you look at the list of folks who participated in the Transit Corridors um, Steering Committee, um, as that was a group that demonstrated a strong interest in downtown re revitalization. Uh, so from that list, staff has provided to the subcommittee a short list of individuals that we think might be, um, would provide some valuable public input to this current design process. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Well, I, if, if yeah. I could just add, I mean, the consultant, I, I think, initially wanted to open it up to the entire community, and we felt that... They just that would be a whole, unwieldy. Yeah, open a whole can of worms right. as far as how, trying to explain the whole grade separation. At least uh, we are going to be selecting individuals in the community that have already um, expressed uh, a lot of expertise in making those decisions and know and know the project. So, and, and that's my my biggest concern is that these consultants don't beat this thing to death. I mean, how many how many options can you come up with? You know, so. I'm, I'm willing to go along with, with, the, with the plan for now, but if they start providing us with, you know, a whole list of things that we can't make a decision on, then, you know, then something's going to have to happen. But, uh, you and, I and I think, and I think the, the, group of, the group of individuals that we, we hope to have on this, uh, in this selection committee also, you know, will, will feel the same way. You say uh, pre-scheduled meeting, if it's possible, in the beginning of March and one in the middle of April, and uh, the engagement will be limited uh, to those meetings, and you were provided with a uh, proposal list of uh, uh, number of residents who can be engaged in the process. After your decision, then the city will contact those individuals and will ask their participation uh, for those two meetings. Okay. All right. We, we have a, a short list here, and we'd like staff to contact these individuals to make sure that they're willing to help us out here. From the Grade Separation Committee, we'd like to recommend Doris Mays, Rob Scarpino, and uh, Bob George. And from the Transit Corridors Committee, Mr. Robert Riekel, Mike Karsha, and Mr. Wayne Parker. So if you can contact those individuals to make sure that they'd, uh, they'd like to participate in this, uh, I think it's a, it's a very good short list of people that have been very active for many, many years on this. And, and uh, won't have a big learning curve. So. They will be contact, uh, contacted tomorrow. What was your money? Thank you. Oh, your money was on the grade. Uh, all right.